MP Rushton Paure remains resolute. His only intention is for a better UNC in an effort to secure a stronger and a brighter future for Trinidad and Tobago. On Monday, Mrs. Pisan Bisasa told the Star Team supporters that Paure and his team want to destabilize the party and usurp power. He says his mission is not to create confusion, but improvement. Number one, um, I don't know where the misinformation is. Mrs. Passad Bissessa and her position is not up for the, for, for the elections. That's the first thing. Two, I don't understand where wanting a better and stronger UNC for a stronger Trinidad and Tobago is destabilizing anything. Now, I will tell you this. My business and the team that I lead is not in the business of fear-mongering. The Mayaru MP tells TV6, contrary to what has been said, he intends to succeed. Well, Mrs. Pasad Bissessa has done her best, and I will never discount that she has done her best on two occasions. And the team that she has presented has failed twice. So that, that may be something that she's concerned with. But what I can tell you, I have no intention of failing. Pari further sought to clear the air on the questions circulating about whether or not he wants to partner with the Patriotic Front led by Michaela Pandey. We talk on a lot of things. We talk about the country, we talk about politics, we talk about food, um, we talk about their dog at home. And But her as a political leader of her party, I respect her. I respect the agenda that she's on. We have not had any conversations concerning any partnering or... or, 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 or any type of cohesiveness. But I made a statement the other day that should, should the, the, the United Patriots take the leadership of the national executive, the, the slate, the team will be open to conversations with anybody. He says his politics is about adding, not dividing and subtracting. Adding that those who go on political platforms and try to create division have no right being in politics. Nicole M. Romney, TV6 News.